once you're ready to steal somebody else's husband, yours, <laughs> yours, <laughs> sweetie me again, sweetie me again. Record that, record that. Um, then also, who else do we have? Um, there's a new girl named Ange and Angela, Angela Oakley. Um, now, I don't know Angela, but I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. I hear her husband is everything. And I can't even say he's too old for her because Portia is in the midst of divorcing her grandfather. So, nah. Okay, this is a, the perfect age range for Portia right here. I just feel like, you know, even though you may not be married, it's just some things are just common sense of how to behave around a married couple. And for me, I don't even like to stand and look someone's husband eye to eye and carry on more than a three-minute conversation. So when we go to exchange telephone numbers, like I was telling somebody the other day, every type of communication that you have with this couple needs to go through the wife. Like, and you should know that at some point in your life. And if you overstep that boundary, then your intentions were wrong from the beginning. What's up, my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from the Entertainment News. So if you've been watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta for a very long time, then you are aware that Portia Williams used to preach, okay? Now, before I read these comments and get to it, keep in mind why context matters and why jumping straight to conclusion just from seeing something is not always a good thing. It's always a good thing to research a little before jumping to conclusion and i'm going to read some of these comments and then explain why i'm saying this now first comment she is definitely the last person to never mind her fans get mad when you speak the truth about this girl girl go put on some clothes straight to hell Portia be playing in your face exactly please say it louder for the ones in the back like for real stop playing with god he's no one to be playing with shaking my head i really feel this way 50 percent you know what it is when they start going to church scam alert stop playing with god the gag is there ain't nobody at that church it looks empty and people should stop playing with god that's what bothers me the most people who plays with god walking contradiction i like this comment well a true christian wouldn't drag her but pray for her only god alone knows if she is playing church or being real she was just yelling for sure is she rehearsing or something ain't nobody there Portia better get delivered and sit down and get her heart right and clean before standing before someone bringing a word. Is this the other version she's pursuing after her activism? And so you had more comments. You know, these are just the light comments. You all know that when I read comments, I'm never going to read the ones that are hitting below the belt and just nasty. But then come to find out, Portia was preaching at her cousin funeral. It made her cousin's soul rest in peace and so you had the oh no my condolences comments i didn't know and i'm over here laughing all of these different things but then there were some people who moved right along and found something else to hold on to now portia cousin was on her show and they had some moments they had some not so pleasant moments but like family you have ups and downs and you fight, but then the love is still there. So after Portia and her sister posted these videos and images of her cousin, there were people who had no mercy. And still came the Portia page leaving some not so pleasant comments. And that's the internet for you. This was the cousin you were mean to. I'm sorry she passed. Really now? My point. Like, really? 
I'm not even going to read his comment. You can read it yourself. But like I said, you never know if Portia and her cousin had conversations after the show. And, you know, why would she include clips and images of their not-so-pleasant moments? Family goes through ups and downs, and people are like, they're not giving Portia no grace. No, they're going in on her, even though she and her family are going through it. I'm praying for Portia and her family. This is her cousin's funeral. Then she's a piece of work to use this occasion to elevate her profile. And the slow and delicate are eating it up as she's a woman of God. Lucifer was a man of God too. Oh my gosh, y'all just going too far. Well, to that person, Portia didn't post this. It looks like Kenya Moore, photographer, and now Portia friend and photographer too, Eric Robinson was there. And it looks like he posted it. So all credit goes to him for the video. And these are more videos and images from Portia's sister Lauren's page of their cousin. Portia captioned a post, Happy Heavenly Birth to my beautiful baby cousin, Lonnie. It's too hard to write all my feelings. I love you always. Thank you for being with me today. I felt your calming presence. Got no facial parks is back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, and she and Portia are cool and all of that. So, And she have her business and her license in this field. So if Phaedra handled everything for Portia and her family, that was great. But it looks like she was at the funeral as well. And the way how people are just completely desensitized on social media... I get it that she made her cousin cry on the show. But she also attempted to fight Dennis' mother and wanted Dennis locked up. And look at where they are now. They are at peace, co-parenting, the mother is around, and all of that. So forgiveness is real. I'm sure Portia had conversations behind the scenes with her cousin and all of that. My condolences to the family, and I'm wishing Portia and her family well, I mean, her cousin so rest in peace because this is her cousin over her and Simon right here trying to hold her down and calm her down when she was in that moment where she completely snapped and blacked out and was going after Dennis and his mother. And then go ahead and read the longer caption from Portia is on the screen. And in the midst of all of this, it looks like her soon be ex-husband did not read the room when he posted this right here. Putting a twist on the Real Housewives of Atlanta who said that moment. And then hashtag Petty is back in the building. So in as much as there was a time there where Simon was either posting about, you know, his mother passing anniversary or something was going on there. And Portia was on her page posting about ED and things like that not caring about his emotional state. So Simon just probably felt like, you know what? She didn't care. I'm not going to care too. But then he still have a heart in there. Or maybe the comments not being on his side led him to say, you know what? Yeah, this is in poor taste. Let me go ahead and delete it. Because he did delete this off his page. But he left it in his Instagram story. And when you put something in your Instagram story, it disappears in 24 hours. So that's what ended up happening with this post. In the midst of all of this, Portia tweeted, whoever leaked my pics, your she been breath, stink, your funky, whatever. Go ahead and read the rest. She deleted it and I guess reposted it to spell, you know, breath the right way and all of that, okay? Apparently, her green screen images leaked. Here are videos from that green screen. So yeah, there you have it. My condolences to Portia and her family. And also, to me, whether Portia was preaching at her cousin's funeral or not, let God use you in the way that he wants to, as long as you're not mocking or playing about it. I'm wishing all of you well, and take care. Thank you all for your love and support. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Also, turn on notifications so when I do post, you're aware that I posted. And I will see you all in the comment section. Remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.